Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for clicking this video and watching my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Does anybody else ever snatch off that mask and be like, oh, breathing? Well, of course, because of COVID-19 and the government's making every single person wear a mask, it is tougher when you have hirsutism and you're trying to cover up so much on your face without anybody staring, but everybody's staring at people's faces now because you're on, having the mask, you're trying to read what people are saying, but I think the struggle's more serious for people with hirsutism. Now, if you're new to my channel, I have PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome, and one of the side effects that I struggle every single day is hirsutism. I have mentioned hirsutism at least maybe five times in every video that I have posted. And I probably realized that I have never actually talked about in detail or made a whole video dedicated to what hirsutism is. Two masks basically covers up everything for me as far as having hirsutism on my face. Plucking your face or waxing your face, it kind of makes your skin very irritated and you can have, you know, numerous breakouts or whatever. So I try to give my face and skin a break and I go a long period of time without touching my face, but I think that's a good and a bad thing. That's just me personally. But with these masks, like it really itches. Like I don't know if because it's the mask and it's my facial hair, but literally I'm like patting my face under the mask because my hair is like so curly that it's like trying to push the mask off. I don't know what my hair is trying to do, but it itches. So my point is my mom actually made some shea butter for me for my skin because she knows growing up, I always had really, really dry skin. And I have, I want to say two videos or I'll put it in my um, description box below the video that I'm referring to when I do my facial routine. But with my facial routine, after I'm done with that, I put a little bit of the shea butter on my face. It's kind of hard to, it's not really good. I'll probably show another clip of it. But um, I put the shea butter like literally on my facial hair, just a little bit and kind of rubs it in. To me, that actually does not make my hair so irritated when I put on the mask, if that makes sense. So. I don't know if anybody else struggles with their hair itching <laughs> under a mask. If you don't have any homemade shea butter, I would try maybe coconut oil or another organic kind of shea butter. But for me, that kind of helps. I want to share that with you guys. Okay, so I'm actually going to be reading some um, highlights from this book that I got, excuse me, off of Amazon a couple years ago. This book really helped me a lot when I was preparing for my speech. The first time I went to um, the march um, on the Capitol Hill in DC last year, this kind of helped me with my speech. And it's just a really, really good breakdown of PCOS, um, symptoms that you can have, different groups, different ways to cope, um, different ways to um, help you eat and exercise, you know, on a healthier side. Just a really, really, really good book. So I'm going to be reading from this and then also some notes on my phone. So bear with me. Now, I could be saying this word completely wrong. 
I've watched so many YouTube videos. People say hesitism, hirsutism. I say hirsutism is spelled H-I-R-S-U-T-I-S-M. So if I am saying this wrong to you, my bad. But I'm, I even played how you pronounce it. Let me see if I can play it. Hirsutism. Okay, hirsutism. Let me put that again. Hirsutism. Okay, she's saying her citizen, and this is um, Google on an iPhone. But her citizen, her citizen is ab abnormal growth of hair on a female's face and body. I haven't shaved my, shaved my face or my chest in probably a month. Today is September 12th. Okay, it's been longer than a month now. <laughs> like a month and two weeks that I just did not touch my face. Like I haven't touched my face since maybe like the first week of August. I just, I don't have an, I don't have a, um, a reason why I go so long sometimes. I don't always go this long without touching my face, but whenever where we go nowadays that you have to wear a face mask, what is the point of constantly every three days waxing and snatching hair off when i gotta throw on a mask in a heartbeat just to go in to get gas a restaurant the store anywhere so um yeah so my hair it literally grows and my hair is the african kinky jamaican blah 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 african curly hair it, that's the same hair on my head but it's also how my facial hair grows like it grows out it grows curly and sometimes grows back in so i do get a lot of ingrown hairs on my chest i want to say it kind of just grows kind of and just curls around and i don't really get too many ingrowns on my chest and that's another reason i let my hair grow so i have less ingrown hairs because if i keep plucking and waxing my hair every three days first of all the hair is really not that long to grow which when i tweeze i try to pick from the root or when i wax i try to the waxing i feel like when it's long it gets really down on your face when you snatch it off you're snatching from the root as far as shaving it's just cutting down the hair so i really try to get the hair follicle as deep as i can when i'm waxing and shaving my hair um, also, hirsutism is caused by excessive production of the action of the hormone called and androgens, which are secreted in the ovaries or androgen glands and produced locally in a hair follicle. So basically, I have, to, to explain it to my knowledge, I have androgen, androgens and some testosterone in my body. I have more than the average female. The main thing with PCOS is, is, is that it's a hormonal imbalance. So a lot of women who have PCOS probably don't actually have cysts on their ovaries, but they do have some other side effects. Um, there's numerous ones. I don't want to name particular ones because every woman is different. Like everyone with PCOS does not look like me at all i haven't found anybody that looks just like me but i do have a lot of sisters and my sisterhood of pcos that have the same struggles as i do so mine for every single day struggle which mainly speaks out is really really um obvious is my hirsutism now somebody else with pcos her um, struggle could be obesity and hair thinning so she could be an obvious, oh, she has PCOS based on her weight and she has thin hair, but there are other underlining problems with both of us. So we're pretty much underlining the same, but at the same time, we're different as well. So back to the um, hormone of the androgens, that is a male hormone and it's circulated in our bloodstream. So I know a lot of people say out loud, you can cure hirsutism by getting electrolysis or um, constantly getting waxed and I really excuse me it's not an attitude but I want to say blah 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 because <laughs> like I said it's a hormonal imbalance so yes you can get this removed but it's going to continue so with electrolysis when I went for a consult um, both of the um, I don't want to call them doctors. Both of the ladies, I'm sorry for the word, I can't think for their profession, excuse me. Both of the ladies were saying that with electrolysis, 
the needle goes into your face or whatever body part they're targeting and it gets that hair shocks it or burns or whatever and it you know comes out so the hair will never grow in that spot but it could grow right next to it so to me i know a lot of people that have seen success and you know they've gone for their six months treatment and they never grow hair right here ever again but i haven't met anyone who just doesn't grow hair anymore like you know like it's just completely gone so me i am a number one proud fan of being a procrastinator that I can probably go to two appointments, but then something in life can happen to me and I may miss an appointment and then I'll just keep pushing it off, pushing it off. I'm actually very content that I have to pluck and wax my face for the rest of my life. It is very depressing. It's very sad. It's very frustrating at times. But when I take the time to wax and pluck my face, I feel like I can be the sexiest woman walking down the street. Like I just have so much confidence because I know that this is something that I just have to live with the rest of my life. So there is no quick fix for me. There is not something that I can just do and then boom, no more, you know, facial hair, chest hair, body hair. This is how God made me. And this is how I'm going to be until the day I die. So hopefully when I get old and crippled, I'll have a husband or a caretaker that will get in my face and plug my chin because I'm not going to be old and gray and crippled with facial hair. No, ma'am. I'm going to teach you that you're going to get my facial hair and pluck it for me. So kind of concluding this um, hirsutism series, like controlling the hormone is based on what we eat my dad has a saying you are what you eat i'm sure that's not his thing but it makes so much sense so if i'm eating so much sugar so much junk food drinking a lot of alcohol i'm pretty positive that's gonna make the hair growth even thicker come more faster it's not what my body needs so i know i'm a biblical person in the beginning adam and eve they ate fruits and vegetables before they start eating animals so I'm not ready to be a vegan yet, so I'm baby stepping, but I do know that drinking a lot of water every single day and eating a lot of fruits and vegetables and just not eating so much processed food will help not just my facial hair and body hair, but my whole body, period. Because I, I would love to be on this earth for a very long time. Excuse me, something is in my eye. And it's based on what I eat and what I put in my body. It just makes so much sense when you go back to the beginning. It's like, duh. But I live in America where we live in such a fast paced world. I mean, you go all day long without eating. Boom, end of the day, there's a 24 hour drive through. Let me get something to eat really, really quick. You know, so I feel like with everything is gonna take time. So all of September, I am going without drinking any alcohol and trying to get down at least 64 ounces of water a day, which I'm doing pretty good at. Of course, it makes you go to the bathroom a lot, but that's just sacrifices that you have to just make. I mean, I know I'm doing it for a healthy reason. I'm doing it because I know my body needs it. So forget going to the bathroom so many times a day. This is what my body needs. So to conclude this video of talking about hirsutism, I struggle with it, like I said, um, every single day, but I just feel like with PCOS as our platform, this is something that we're going to have to tackle every single day with a positive attitude. If you look in the mirror every single day and be like, oh, I got to do this again in my face or oh my God, like I got to get my chest waxed. Think of it in another attitude. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. <sighs> okay, so let me put aside one hour to do my face. Let me see if I can book an appointment at European Wax to get my chest waxed. Let me see if I can go buy some wax. Like, let me take the time. Because when you take time to do anything, I don't know about you guys, but you feel so much better. Like, you feel like you just conquered the world because you took the time to do what you had to do to make yourself look better, feel better. I actually don't care what other people think of me. <laughs> like, I don't know if I've made that clear yet, but... At the same time, there are days that I don't want anybody to see any of this. So I wear shirts up to here or I wear hairstyles that are like this or I keep the mask 
like I just you know pull the mask down and keep it right here so at least all this is covered so there I'm not saying that I'm walking around here proud to have a hairy face and hairy you know body as a woman but at the same time I know that this is something that I can I have to do the rest of my life so when I take the time to do you know what I feel looks acceptable or you know makes me feel pretty I feel so much better I even have a little bit more energy because I took the time to basically wax and pluck my face like as a woman I mean you know just makes your self-esteem go to another level where I'm here to help you guys support you guys and encourage you guys that you are not alone in this the struggle is real I am here to kind of show my personal experience, but at the same time, I'm here to encourage you. You're beautiful just the way God made you. It doesn't matter if you have four connected dot hairs or 14,000 hairs. If you let your hair grow, if you constantly wax and shape every single day, you are still beautiful. So you kind of have to have that positive mindset, that positive self-lifting encouragement before you can even think to get it from somebody else. Because I know I can't hang around some friends because even though it's almost hard to even use that word friend because your friends should love you based on who you are like family members should love you based on who you are but you can't expect that from everyone i have learned that at 28 years on this earth that just because i call you my friend or just because you're my family member does that mean that you have to accept who i am I'm not asking you to accept who I am. I know who I am in Christ, first of all, most importantly, how he's made me and the woman that I want to be as far as being an encouragement and advocate for the women who look like me who may not have the confidence. And I'll put anybody in check who bashes anybody or talks anybody because I'm going to educate you. You're making fun of the person or of the woman, how she looks, because you don't know exactly what's going on with her. I know I'm guilty of that, of making fun of somebody or laughing at somebody based on how they look, but I don't know what's going on with them, so I'm wrong for doing that. And I had to break myself down because you never know what somebody is going through. So before you point the finger, before you laugh, compare, make fun of, think about how that would make you know you feel. If you had something you couldn't control and somebody was you know targeting you based on how you look, you know, like I just feel like our world is such a, if you don't look a certain way, we're gonna, we're gonna put you in this box or this category as how you should look. Because no, you can't, you, you cannot do that. Everybody is different. I wanna keep repeating myself because I could go ham on talking about this subject for a very long time, but I'm not. I was here to make this video real nice and short, real cute. But I know that you guys know that I'm going to keep it real, show everything except nudity, you know, I'm not doing that on this channel, but at the same time showing you that I'm real, I'm not fake at all with everything that I'm showing that I'm going through because I want you guys to feel comfortable to ask me anything and not feel judged or criticized based on how we look or what we're going through because I'm here for you. So I love you guys so, so much. Happy PCOS Awareness Month all month long. Pray for me, sis. I'm trying to do a video every single week for September for PCS Awareness Month. Wear it teal on almost every one of my videos. I'm sorry about wearing the scarf again. I know it's another video of mine, but it's nighttime. Girl, you know, for an African-American, you have to keep those edges laid. So I couldn't take the scarf off in the video because as much as I talk, the hair would have been lifting up. <laughs> so... <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you once again for liking this video, for watching it. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have not already, go ahead in my previous video, watch how you can enter to win a PCO West gift box in my giveaway that is coming up at the end of the month. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I love you. See you soon in another video. Bye.